Marlena Sparza takes on Salem Urbina in a ter terrific matchup that will be shown live on the zone. Marlene, how you doing? I'm well, I'm well, good. Just here waiting, trying to get through this uh, bubble and the quarantine to get ready to fight and perform on Friday. So let's uh, uh, talk about uh, Marlene. What, what, you know, uh, what does she, uh, uh, your opponent, Salem Urbina, uh, talk about her? Um, she's a, she's a really good opponent. She's, um, has a, a huge uh, inter, in, amateur pedigree. She fought for Mexico for a very long time. Um, she's, you know, a very worthy opponent. Uh, she's aggressive and, um, she likes, she comes to fight and, you know, this is the biggest fight of, of her life, of her uh, pro career. And, um, you know, she, it's going to be. It's going to be a really good fight because she's uh, she's always down to fight. So she's definitely coming to bring it, and it's going to be a very entertaining fight for women's boxing for sure. Most most fighters, I got to give you a lot of credit. Most fighters coming off the fight that you just had with with Sinesa Estrada, you know, it was a very you know high charge fight both outside and inside the ring. Most fighters would want to kind of, you know, get their feet back wet again, get a win, and you're you're jumping right back into the fire fighting a girl like you said who's twelve and zero with a with a large amateur background. I mean, what's your thought process in in, in doing that? Um, my thought process is to be honest, I didn't think I lost that fight, so I'm really just trying to uh, go the way that I would have gone if I would have won because I don't think it was a loss, you know, in all honesty, uh, Sinisa's fight that she took, uh, she, you know, after, after coming off a great win, um, she chose a very, very, um, lesser than opponent. And once you hit a certain stage, I don't feel like you need to go backwards. And that's the same thing that I, I, regardless of what happened, there was, you know, it's controversial. There's the head, but, constant headbutts a lot going on but i still feel that i'm already on that stage i've already moved past uh getting my feet wet you know there are going to people that i'm not to fight here now and again that maybe aren't world champions but are very you know uh big contenders and i don't plan on going backwards so i feel like sulem isn't a world champion. I'm not a world champion. We're both on the come up. She's a very good opponent and I'm not trying to waste any time uh, going to a lesser than opponent. Very, very interesting. Uh, obviously that p potential rematch. I mean, have you been told a win gets you a rematch? I know you really wanted it at first. She said no, but I think she's kind of warmed up to the idea. I know you're not looking past Salem, but obviously, you know, there's a world championship fight, you know, for you, you know, with a victory. Right. No, definitely. I want um, I want to get through this fight with Salem gracefully. I want to show everybody what I can do, uh, especially since she's such a talented fighter. To show what I can do on that uh, on that level with that level of opponent will speak volumes. That's the plan, and then get this world get the get to the world champion, uh, become a world champion, uh, go on from there, and get to Sinisa. Me and Sinisa are, in inev are inevitable, uh, given just solely on the fact that there's still no one knows who's better. You know, there's still a lot of arguments. No one was really satisfied with how that fight went. There's still a lot of unanswered questions. She didn't want the fight. I honestly think because she didn't, I don't think she thinks she can win the second one. I just, I think because she got so much heat over uh, not wanting to do another one, she warmed up to it. But she also moved to 108. And because she is the, she did win that fight, you know, it's up to me to go to 108. And I'll definitely be willing to do that when the time's right and my team and I discuss that. But, uh, there's there's going to be a rematch for sure, but right now, you know, Sinise is not the end all be all. She's not women's boxing. Mm -hmm. um, I have my own uh, path, and she has hers. And eventually, we'll 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 cross that bridge again. We'll we'll cross each other's paths eventually, and um, that will happen. Looking back at that fight, um, that was one of the. I, I mean, obviously, women's boxing hasn't been as 
around as long as Vinsbach. And that was, I mean, take the wins and losses out of it for a second. That was a terrific, entertaining fight that you two girls put on that. I see you have a big smile on that. I mean, it, it, you, you take pride that you were involved in, you know, one of those fights that, you know, we may, re, you know, we're going to talk about for for a couple of years. No, I definitely, um, I think regardless of our uh, hatred towards one another, <laughs> Um, we both know that we did, we both know that we did, um, a really good job for women's boxing. So, um, no, yeah, I love the fact that, uh, not only was it probably one of the most entertaining, uh, fight for women's boxing as of right now, you know, in this, in this era, but also, uh, the fact that I got to show, I got to show people what I can do. And, you know, there was blood, there was, there was controversy, there was, everything that you can think of and it just shows you know that i'm an entertaining fighter and hopefully we do, we do it again with sulem and obviously without the headbutts and do it again with sulem have an entertaining fight for people to see that hey every time i go i show up and every time you're gonna want to see me fight and i and i'm I'm definitely proud of that, and uh, she should be proud of that as well. And, and this kind of be a little bit different question. How you think important? Obviously, I there definitely is real animosity between you and and uh, Sinessa. It's a real rivalry. I mean, and there's you know very few of those in women's spot. We you know we hear you know Joshua is going to fight Fury, and you know all these fights on the men's side. This is this is a real rivalry, and you know one of the few in, in women's boxing. How does it feel to you know c- c- kind of be being in, immersed in one of those? Um, it's 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 a catch twenty two. It's fun, you know. <laughs> uh, it's fun because at least we get to. It's not like oh, we just don't like each other and we get to say stuff. But at the end of the day, we get to fight. Yeah. So it's fun, uh, but it's also difficult because. Um, there, like you said, it's a real rivalry, and there is a real amount of hatred and dislike that we have. So to separate that and keep it um, to a point professional, and because also there's girls watching, which is one thing I didn't disagree with the way she she's acted in certain aspects. But to keep the mindset of okay, at the end of the day, yes, I don't like you. Um, you know, I, I can't stand you, but this is still, I still have to focus on the craft of boxing. It becomes, it becomes difficult, but it, it, it's fun. It is fun. And, um, I don't think I'll ever get tired of, of, uh, of hitting Sinisa in the face. So. <laughs> um, my, 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 my next question, you're actually the perfect person to ask this question. I feel since the advent of women boxing in the Olympics, the prof- you know, ever since you g- girls graduated into the pros, that there's definitely a lot more depth and quality fights, and there's a lot, lot of good quality women's fights now. Do you feel the Olympic movement, and you you compete in, in two Olympics, you think that's the main source of, of why women's boxing has a nice little uh, uptick these days? Yeah, I do. I think this is really the truth of it is, Women's boxing had their uh, strong era with um, Lucia Riker, Christy Martin, and Anna Wolf, um, Layla Ali, right? So you you had that group of women, and then it died out. But there was no – they all had just a professional pedigree. They didn't have a lot of amateur experience. But now we're becoming the men um, in that aspect where now you have girls that have – hundreds of amateur fights that are turning pro uh, regardless of the Olympics or not. Um, and because of the Olympic movement and you have so many other girls that have that much experience, they just didn't get to the games. It allows us to now showcase our talent in the pro world where before it was backwards, it was a lot of women that were pro, but didn't have the experience that they for the amateurs so now we're making our way in that direction and being able to showcase uh the type of talent that we do have it just took a long time to get there because it took years and years and years for um you know the women of of my era the women of our era to um to turn pro and you know show what they've learned over you know 15 10 years of being amateur and now it's starting to to show on the bigger stage. And there's younger girls now that are going to keep keep that cycle alive. 
and uh, we're only going up from there for sure because of because of the ability to be in the Olympics. And that, and that's a good segue to my next question. Obviously, you were in two Olympics, and you know you, you were pretty well known throughout. You know those you know, five, six plus years that, you know, uh, in between the Olympics and whatever, how many little girls have come up to you in the, in the past, you know, few years say, Marlon, uh, you've inspired me to be, become a boxer and, and go in the gym, whether it's in Houston or in your travels, uh, uh, throughout the world. Uh, tons, you know, tons. Um, I can't even count, but it, it's, uh, and that's, what's really, it helps me a lot. Um, because, Obviously, with all the controversy and the hate and the, you know, the mess that is in the women's boxing world right now, as far as competitors and, and uh, you know, stable mates, um, to see to, to be, see it in a different aspect of like, okay, yes, there is all this messy stuff, but at the end of the day, um, there's girls now that got, that can do what I never felt like I could do. Uh, when I was uh, eight, you know, nine, 10, 11 years old, all of those years leading up to um, competing constantly, it was hard. Um, and even the first, you know, all the way up until I was about 19, 20, it was really difficult. Uh, there wasn't a lot of girls and it wasn't easy to um, get, get on, get put on the team and to travel. We didn't have JO tournaments like it did. Mm -hmm. There was one person allowed on the team. You know, they're, they're getting to um, experience a lot of the things that uh, I didn't. And it's it's amazing because I'm like, you don't have to, I used to have to go to the gym and worry about, oh, uh, I'm the only girl in the gym or are they gonna think I'm flirting because I, because I befriend a boy or, you know, do I need to wear baggy clothes or should I even be here? Um, and there was, that's the, those things they don't have to go through anymore. You know, even, hey, will I even get to go to the Olympics? Will we ever be allowed in the Olympics? Um, will I ever be able to be successful in boxing? Will it be accepted? They don't have to go through those things. And they they told me also because the sponsors or, you know, I saw you on the Cover Girl uh, commercial and that's what made me wanted to go box because I love boxing, but I didn't think I could be a girl and be, be a boxer. You know, dads also see that it's something that's acceptable. Moms also want it now. So it's becoming a, a genuinely all around accepted sport. And uh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a very, very beautiful thing. It's, it's, a, it's a great, I mean, it's a great story that, you know, you know, beside your, your prowess with the Olympics and, and, you know, your record and fight for world titles, you know, we, I guess it's something that you can be very proud of being that, you know, you are a trailblazer. You know, you, you did compete in the first Olympics uh, w with the women. And, you know, th there's, me, like you said, many more throughout the next bunch of years. And it's they're going to be following you and, and your teammates from uh, 2012, right, was the first one. Right. Yeah, Clarissa. It was me, Clarissa Queen. And then it was Mc and then Michaela, and Clarissa. And then we'll see who who goes to these next ones because COVID. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's a um, it's it's going, you know, and it's it's a it's an awesome thing because little girls, uh, get to get to see it, and it's not impossible anymore, and it's not it's not something that that can't be done anymore, and they have people to look up to, women to look up to, and um, even know that you know the whole thing of being able to be a female but be a boxer, that was when I was younger was, was a never going to happen. Yeah. yeah. But now there's tons of, you know, 15, 16 year olds. They're beautiful. They wear dresses and they curl their hair and they wear makeup <laughs> and then they go to the gym and they kick ass. Yeah. And, um, you know, it, it, all of it to me is just, it's like, I'm just so happy that they didn't have to go through what I went through and a lot of my, what my stable mates had to go through. Mm -hmm. I see uh, you're doing the interview from your hotel room. Obviously, you have to stay there for a few days with this bubble atmosphere. How do you plan to, you know, commandeer the next couple of days? Oh, man, I'm a homebody, so I love this. I do miss my son like crazy, <laughs> but um, as the longest that I've had to been away from because of camp and, and all that. But, um, you know, I like to just be chill. I like to be by myself especially because the amateurs for so long mm -hmm. that's what you get used to being in other countries can't leave you know not knowing what you're going to eat so you bring your own food i'm a homebody so 
I'm pretty happy with this situation. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> there, there, there you go. A uh, couple last questions. What do you want to say to the fans out there before we see you this Friday night taking on Salem or being alive on the zone? I just want to say um, I hope everybody tunes in. It's going to be another amazing fight for sure. You're not going to want to miss it. It's going to, it's, it's, the hype is real. Uh, it's not a lie. You know, she's an amazing fighter. I'm here to fight. I'm here to go in, and she's there to go in. She's ready to battle. I'm ready to battle. And um, I hope everybody just tunes in and really enjoys it. Uh, for sure, you're going to enjoy it, so don't miss it. And um, it's for women's boxing. So uh, I remember before it. the last fight, you, you weren't so complimentary of your opponent, but before the last fight, the, uh, the, what do you like better? You, you, you like uh, going in there being friendly, uh, like you're giving, or the last fight with Sanessa, where was some hatred uh, built up? Which one do you prefer? <laughs> um. You know, in all, all in all, in all, I, prefer, I mean, half kidding, you know, but you know. No, yeah, no. In all, <laughs> in all, I prefer to have uh, respect for my opponent. Um, but don't get me. But when it comes specifically to her, <laughs> um, I like not liking her. Like I said, uh, she'll be the only person I probably will never. I could probably be sixty years old and still would not mind hitting her in the face. She just, I just, she's just not for me. <laughs> well, I, have a, well, I have a feeling if you guys have a couple more wars, maybe when you're 60 years old, you can you guys can sit and reminisce about about the the entertainment that you gave the thousands and millions of people. Maybe, hey, I'm an optimist. I'm an optimist. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> let, let, last question. Before I let you... possible. Crazier things have happened, but I doubt it. <laughs> last, last question before I let you go. Where do we find you on social media? Oh, on social media, it's a. Uh... On Instagram, it's Marlene underscore Sparza, M-A-R-L-E-N underscore Sparza. Facebook, uh, it's just Marlene Sparza. And then on Twitter, it's Marlene112Boxing. There she so has it. Definitely <laughs> Instagram girl. So there, there she has it. Thank you for a few minutes of time. I'm sure this will be a tremendous fight on Friday night. I'm actually I'm looking forward to that fight as much as any fight. It's a terrific card with Allison Roach and Toriano Johnson and, and Mungia. Your fight, your fight doesn't take a step back from those two fights. I'll tell you that right now. So I, I know the guys are excited about it too. So I, you know, I, I, like I said I think after the last fight, you and you know, and, and her own rights and us, you guys have become the must see TV when when you when you guys step in the ring. So I mean, you got, like I said, that fight was so good. I, I'm, I was looking forward to when you guys were fighting next. So uh, I think we lost you for yeah. a second. Oh uh, no, it's a my phone just went off. But yeah, I know I heard you. Yeah, definitely. I think everybody you can't wait to see the second go around. And um I think we're both just gonna be putting on good performances until then. And uh we'll cross we'll cross our pass when we cross our pass. There you go, Marlon. Thank you for a few minutes of your time. We look forward to seeing you Friday night and uh, take care. Thank you.